Welcome to the exciting finale of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I mean, how exciting is it going to be? Well, look how much time we're going to be here for. Oh, no, Bowser and uh, Cammy are gone. I wanted to talk yeah. to them. Crap. Let's get, let's get Goombella out so uh, we can tattle on this final boss, see what we're dealing with. Oh, ho, ho! An ultra Shroom, handy. And down all these stairs. Oh, this all is... these stairs. Yeah, this is why Grotus wanted this place. It's got a huge dungeon and a enormous all loading these zone. Stairs. There we yeah. go. <laughs> and a jam and jelly. All right, we're ready. Are you ready, Goombella? Let's go. No, oh, they lit candles for dramatic effect. The legendary treasure is in that... in that coffin. The soul of the ancient demon. What? Possess peach! I, I mean, possess peach! Process peaches? No! Yeah, I kind of did. If I would have just thrown that map away, we wouldn't have been in this situation now, would we? Well, hindsight's twenty twenty. Oh, no! Oh, that's oh. a real big oh no! Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh god, it's ending like a Kirby game! I did all of this for a slice of cake! Whoa! Oh, the fourth Shadow Siren. Oh, darkness envelops the land! Oh dear. Yep, thanks Peach. Real glad you sent me that map. Oh, please show the place that's already constant shadow. <laughs> Nothing changed in Twilight Town. <laughs> if anything, it got a bit brighter. Oh god, are we gonna go to every single place? And just show that it gets dark. I mean, we gotta show how much darkness there is. And all of this happened because somebody left the gosh darn door open. We could have let Hooktail just swallow that, that star, and nobody would have been the wiser. Oh, good. It didn't go through everything. Okay. Yes, Queen. I'm here to simp for you. brought you Belle Delphine. Possess her and become the <laughs> ultimate simp piece. Maybe we can get all these uh, pathetic uh, simps to sing in a choir. A symphony. A, sim a symphony, yes. <laughs> it did get darker. A symphonic orchestra. Oh, great. The world's over. Nice job, everybody. Oh, what tomfoolery is this? I believe there is another case to solve. Is this the rapture? Hmm. 
<laughs> I, I like the, the nonchalant questioning of the rapture. Oh no, I believe we're all doomed. It appears death has come for us all. Curious indeed. <laughs> Tally-ho, death is here. I'm also here. <laughs> oh dear. Well, great. Oh Peach my God, her goth queen. Phase. Yeah. Yes. Look at this gothic peach. See. I've already seen this sprite, unfortunately, so this is kind of spoiled for me. I had no idea what the context was. Well, if now it, you do. If anything, this could have happened at any point in the story, and I wouldn't have been the wiser, because I thought it was just like, you know, a, a Dark World version of Peach or something like that. But no, she's truly possessed by evil. It's an evil Peach! Do as I say! Oh, God! Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we gotta fight that! Oh god, he's gone! Oops! That's just her warming up! Okay. So she has the ability slow start. She's basically the Reggie Gigas of the Mario universe. Oh god, more simps. You were practically right about the fourth shadow siren. Oh, sweet! Don't know if they're related, but they certainly do know each other, and Belda's been alive for a quite a long time. Maybe the shadow sirens were the dominant race of the Mushroom Kingdom, or wherever we are, technically. They're the one who whispered about the treasure in the first place. So, they spread the rumor to get people to search for the stars, to open up the door, oh, so that foolhardy explorers can come in and awaken the queen! All oh, the true villains. How dastardly! How duplicitous! Uh, wait. We've been smeckledorfed! I have a feeling become her servant would result in a bad ending, but... You, you just saved, though. Come on. Yeah, well, nah, nah, nah. Come we, on. We, it's already been eight minutes. We got a finale to get to. Now it's time for the final boss. The Shadow Queen. Boy, don't threaten me with a good time there, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's -a go! Oh Whoa. no, not everybody is healed. <laughs> Wait, how did that. How did you not heal everyone? I didn't hit the box. I thought you did in the last episode. What happened? After I saved. Oh. But I was also thinking, oh, I leveled up. That means everybody's healed. Not so. Wah, wah. Only Mario gets healed from a level up. Oops. We gotta fight it to the end. Oh god, 150 <laughs> health though! Okay, that's pretty awesome. Look at all that health. Ten of it's gone already. Oh, go Goombella, god. Um, uh, just, just do whatever you can, hon, okay? See if we can't get most of the damage here. Time for Miss Flurry to shine. Oh, hell no. Oh, her attack and defense are boosted. Oh, goody, wonderful. Hooray. Uh, let's get Gumbel out of here. Oh, Bobbery, no! <laughs> I think I shot myself in the foot for you this fight. You have to use Flurry now. No, I don't. No, yeah, I won't. You, do. you can't yeah, make you me. Do. You're gonna no. use her. No. I 
will not be satisfied until I see every single partner being used. Then you will not be Jesus. satisfied! Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Alright, uh, I guess I'll start with the ground pound. Wait, doesn't she have a pointy crown? No, ah! she's got high defense. So, Yoshi, it ever the useless dinosaur, unfortunately. Uh, you're almost as bad as Coops. <laughs> hey, uh, Coops would at least, like, scuff her shoes. Yoshi did nothing. He does a lot of attack, but the thing is, his attack- Whoa! Oh, shit! How do you block that? Ha! Ah! Okay, uh... Mini hmm. egg? Stampede, Let's try maybe? Stampede! Go, my brothers! Deuce, 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 deuce! Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah! See, so look at that! We've already got about 50 of her health gone already. More than that now. Time for phase two. We talk about phase two. There's no phase two. This is it. We're almost done, too. See, I'm always used to, like, Shin Megami Tensei, where, oh, hey, you got me down half health, let me add an extra attack that deals, like, five million damage. Why would it do that? This this isn't Shin Megami Tensei. I guess final bosses are very cut and dry in Mario RPGs. Like, when we fought, uh, what's-his-face in Mario RPG, that was just a very long fight. Yeah, I mean, we had the, Gro the Grotus fight, we had the Bowser fight, and now we're having this fight. So this is like the third final boss fight. Nothing's gonna happen, don't worry. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's not good. Uh, no. No, it is not. Cool, I call it. <laughs> Phase two, baby! Yeah, you wanna know the worst part? What is the worst part, my friend? We can't do anything. What? We can't do anything. Uh, well, yeah, what about the hands? Uh -oh. We can't do anything. Hmm. Uh. Unleash the power of friendship. Friendship? What makes you think that's gonna work? Uh, bring Bowser in. Power of friendship. Bowser's dead, I killed him! He's come in from the ceiling before. It's fine. Guess I'll just veil for a while. Hide in the shadows. Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks like a health stealing ab ability. As well as death breath. Oh no, and. What? My audience is gone. Is that because the bomb exploded? Yes. That's silly. That's foolish! Uh... Oh, I would it laugh if this actually worked. <laughs> I would laugh. Yeah. Don't you drain my HP, you little whelp. Yeah! Everybody's leaving because I'm sucking now. Damn it! All right, we're we're a little bit in trouble here. And you're throwing rocks still. Get out of here! No appreciation for the fine arts. Uh, so answer me this, smart guy. How do we win? We don't. The world's over. Hmm... Doubtful. No! It's over! It's really over! Maybe I can hit the Shadow Queen directly. Nope! Do we have to use the Crystal Stars? Oh no. <laughs> no! Oh, God. Not the rest oh, of my audience! God. Fuck! Oh! Max HP, too! We can't hurt her! She's fully healed! The audience is gone! What do we do? 
I sense some pre-rendered nonsense. Yep, called it. Power of friendship. There is no power of friendship. Power of friendship! No! It's the power of the crystal stars, fool! Oh. Well, they were achieved with friendship. And then, uh, the, uh, the crystal and, stars. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, with the power of the crystal stars, he becomes Metal Mario! You know, even though this has been done to death in a lot of games where they mean for you to feel hopeless in this overly powerful final boss fight, but it doesn't stop being interesting. Okay, fine. It is a power of friendship. Hell yeah! Crystal I stars go to all of our friends and they supercharge the crystal stars and they help us out. Yeah, I know. It's a dumb cliche where we're, we're at the... We're at the, we're at the bottom of the barrel where we're, we've hit rock bottom then all our friends come together and tell us how good we are and how important they are and I gotta tell you that stupid played out bullshit trope I live for it so shut up yeah, I was about to say that's probably why Nintendo fans are clamoring for a thousand year door to come back is so they can actually feel like they have friends again <laughs> you got Animal Crossing that, that, that's friends enough <laughs> all of them want to leave my island they're not my friends. Well, then you take your axe and you say, hey, <laughs> you're either going to stay here or you'll leave in a body bag, okay? Well, see, that's the thing. I could have sworn in the older Animal Crossings they just up and left if you didn't talk to them enough. In New Horizons, it just seems like they're like, hey, I'm thinking of leaving. Do you want me to leave? No? Okay, I guess I'll stay. They just change their minds immediately and just never leave unless I you think want them to. I think it's worse than New Leaf because you just go to their house one day and they got boxes everywhere. Yeah, and they're they're just gone. It it feels worse. But they're like, yeah, I'm thinking of leaving. And they go, no, don't go. It's like, and uh, either they'll go, oh well, now that you said that, I think I'll stay, or they'll go, nah, I think I'll leave anyway. Mm -hmm. So New Leaf, the the game where your friends just abandon you, but thankfully I'm, we're here in the Thousand Year Door where your friends will never give up on you, as long as you have crystal stars to connect you. As long as you have crystal stars to connect you, and as long as Flurry becomes useful in this final fight, which she always has been useful, UDJ just hates Miss Flurry. So I found out about Flurry. Uh -huh. Whatever you uh, use her use your her power to like blow, mm -hmm. we can't tell with this small resolution, but with, with emulation and uh, you know upping up to HD. He's blowing on a mouthpiece. Wait, what? He grabs onto Flurry, and there's like a little yellow mouthpiece that he <sighs> blows into to make her blow her crazy, powerful Flurry wind. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. So she's just like a... Like a giant party blower? She's basically uh, a sentient tuba. Give me your life energy. Come on, we can make the spirit bomb to destroy this bitch. Yeah, that shit. I love that shit, too. So everybody raise your hands. Give your power to the crystal <laughs> stars to help Mario. Come on, you can do it! You can do it, Phantom Thieves. Take out God. You can do it! God, now I'm just going to have to think of all the games that use that cliche. That's some good shit. God, I can't see from here! It's effective nearly every time. Nearly every time. Well, actually, every Persona game does that shit. What am I talking about? I think Be even Nocturne does that, kind of. Remember the bonds you have made. Well, the Nocturne is like, remember the bonds you have made. What bonds? Everybody <laughs> hates me! 
yeah, remember my bond with Dante. That's it. Nobody else. Hey, Dante's a good person to have a bond with. Wow, this goes on for a long time. Yeah, this is why it's an hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably why it's an hour. Fight would have been over ten minutes ago. Mario, get it! Can we get back into the fight? <laughs> you, you see Mario doing the, you know, the circular hand gestures, like, okay, okay, I get it. M move on, move on. Let's keep it going. Oh, by the way, the joke comes full circle. Yes. The power of Luigi. Oh, did you see that artwork I retweeted the other day about uh, somebody actually made official artwork for Luigi and all of his pals looking for the compass? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I, I love it when artists do that because... Check it. Go Gonzalez. Go Mario. Go Luigi. Mario. Gonzalez. What? Oh no. My deductive reasoning. The joke comes full circle! <laughs> We're ready to blow this place, Pops. You ready? Now let us do it. <laughs> they all explode. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> what is that? A hundred bomb corpses just to show how powerful they are? No, I've been weakened by the power of love. Power of love and friendship, baby. Even Luigi is cheering us on. Oh, that's what that is. You go, bro. Oh, and all of your, uh... All of your companions are getting cheers, too. Yay, Flurry! I like that guy! It's kind of sad that all of these people are just going to forget about this a week later after you beat the Shadow Queen. <laughs> hey, remember that thing with the star and the cheering? Yeah, that was wild, wasn't it? Yeah, that was pretty nuts. Well, still gotta pay rent, so... <laughs> hey, Mario, you, you wanna use the inn for, for discount? We'll have it for three coins instead of five. Oh, but I thought my money no good here. Oh, no, your money's still, good, still really good here. You might have a lot of it now, so we'll take some of it, yeah? <laughs> Uh, consider it the hero's discount, sir. So now we've healed. Yo. That's the power of Peach's love. Well, bye, Peach. I guess you're gonna die forever now. I don't think I've ever heard anybody call Peach a brat. <laughs> How old is she, anyway? Can she still be considered a brat? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea the ages of this fucking series. Because mine but is now, like 50. Final boss for really, really, really realsy, realsy reels. Uh huh, yeah. Power of friendship, let's go. We got the power of friendship, and she's got the power of her snickety bitch syndrome. <laughs> and slowly but surely, our audience will come back. Aw, I knew they appreciated the fine arts. Then, of course, you got one poony in the audience who goes, This isn't Hamilton! This sucks! <laughs> Holy shit! Vivian! Yeah, we're doing it! Th that's insane! Alright, do it up, man! What? How is that you can hurt me? Did you not see the ten-minute cutscene cut of all the friends and power and friendship and all that? <laughs> I... I would absolutely adore it if Mario finally broke the fourth wall and said, You see this? <laughs> Just points to the audience member. Because we were the most influential. We were the most friendship. We were the producer of this play.
Perfect timing. Finally! Yes! Except when it I've already healed everything! Well, at least you're getting your crowd back. Yeah! There we go! Fill all the seats! Alright, now use some of those crystal star powers, please. Nah, I've got some flowers to use still. Oh, I see. So you're using the big stuff and then going back to... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Woo! That's not good. That, that's huge. I'm going to use Veil. It looks like it's going to be really hurty and ouchies. Let's see how hurty and ouchies. God. Oh, yeah. Big hurdy ouchies. Well, not happening here. All right, uh, that'd be a good time for Earth Tremor, I'd say. There we go. So which one is your favorite, like, second Crystal Star power? My second favorite? Yeah. Probably, uh, Sweet Feast. I mean, that's the two I use the most. That was pretty good. I, I don't even remember what the last one was. I like Heart Attack. Heart Attack is a close third. <laughs> Only six? Wow. Oh no, not again. Go, Shag, I go! No! <laughs> he tried, he tried. He fucked me is what he did! I could just see Mario start shouting like Christian Bale at the shy guy. <laughs> oh, what Excuse you me! The fucking set, you prick! What the fuck are you doing? Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, so close. That's how she gets all those little hands. Oh man, keep you kidding me! Oh, now I see where the rest of the runtime comes from. Yeah, well, that's part of it. It's just a minor endurance test, that's all. I really do like the design of this Dark Queen here. Again, it looks like a Kirby final boss. <laughs> yes, it does. Everything's all cutesy and adorable, and then we get to the final boss, and it's just, you know... The epitome of death and darkness and despair and hatred. Well, I think it. what also helps is the fact that it is, like, a full 3D model in this 2D space. Like, it's definitely moving differently for... Like, that's not even the same frame rate for those little hands there. We got her down under 100, and now we're in the mist. Shit. Maybe this will hit. Yeah. Nice. Oh god. Nope. 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 The feeling of thousands of hands just bullying you. Oh, where's that hand going? Oh! If you won't let me rule the world, I'll just steal your lunch money, nerd. Thousand-year-old dark queen of darkness and evil and malice, and she gives me a fucking wedgie. The perfect end to the thousand-year door, I I think. With a wedgie. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? What? I don't know what I did, but that was cool. <laughs> okay. Oh well, there's the big attack again. Ab bab. Oh, you better not give me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, you missed, pal. <laughs> God, I haven't heard that in a while. There we go, another six damage to everything. That's also six damage to her. That's true. 
I would love to have Bobbery back out here, though. Don't forget that her hands can also heal. That's a good point. Kill them dead, please. It's like you're, it's like you're trying to reach for something and someone just keeps going, Ow! But, but I just want to... Ow! Stop! D -d 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 Stop. Just want to drain a little bit of your... Ow! Stop! Ah. Ow! It's there we nice. go. Mario just got a swirly, so... Yeah, this, uh, this Shadow Queen's turning out to be a real bitch. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Lives up to her namesake of being a legendary monster. <laughs> Hatred incarnate. God, now I'm thinking of other final... Like, what if Ganondorf did that and just gave Link a wedgie? <laughs> it's, especially if it was, like, Beast Ganon, he uses his tusk to give Link a wedgie. I don't think one wing angel would have quite the impact if <laughs> Sephiroth just gives Cloud a big wedgie. <laughs> like, I, I would honestly prefer that, because that, cause that means... <clears throat> Nobody has to die, and everybody just gets like a, you know, ca kind of a cartoony, just like, ha ha, gotcha, nerd. Then Barrett's like, oh my god, Cloud, are you okay? Then he just puts the underwear over your eyes. Ha <laughs> 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 ha nerd. The one-winged angel, <laughs> aka the atomic wedgie. <laughs> this is how you're able to sing the choir notes in the background. <laughs> You ride it so high, you go up a few octaves. <laughs> Wedgie time! Dun 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 Wedgie time! <laughs> I don't think, like, even Nightmare from the Kirby games could do anything to harm Kirby because he doesn't wear pants! Dinity, mean, however, he gets wedged all the time. All the time! Because everybody likes a doofus king. <laughs> all of these, like, dark beings, all of these ultimate evils in the Fire Emblem series all just look like pales in comparison to the Atomic Nintendo Wedgie. You know, maybe that's how Breaking Bad should have ended. <laughs> Instead of Walter White dying on the floor, he just gets wedged by Jesse. <laughs> you deserved it, Mr. White. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Yeah, you know the ending of The Sopranos. You go into the diner, and it's just <laughs> Tony Soprano getting uh, wedgied. And, and then it cuts to black. That could be how Saw ends, you know. Yeah, Jig Jigsaw's got his got his underwear tied up to like some sort of torture rack. He just keeps going and going, and then his legs get cut off. No, I, I think I'd stick with the non-gory scenario. Like, but well, instead he forces other people to do it. You know, to teach them a lesson. <laughs> you spent your whole life putting people in traps. Now you're going to see what it's like to be in a trap of your own. <laughs> ah! Give yourself an atomic wedgie, or you will never escape, or something like that, I don't know. What about Lavos from Chrono Trigger? <laughs> Demonic yeah, that alien that comes to Earth <laughs> in its infancy and influences all of human culture and all of human history, <laughs> just gives Chrono a big wedgie. Ha, nerd! That's so looking, motherfucker. I can't even give him a wedgie because he doesn't wear no pants. Especially if it's like the big shell. Oh no! Lavos. Vivian, no. <laughs> okay, one that actually makes legit sense. When Yoshi has to go get the happy tree back, 
you know, instead of dealing with baby Bowser here, you know, just, just hike him up on a coat hanger. That's how you do it, Yoshi. Well, I could use a coat hanger on Baby Bowser, you know, a bit earlier, though, but that no, might be a bit too dark. because that's awful. That might be a bit too dark, yeah. And then Kamek just, you just hear, <laughs> Yoshi, We've almost got her now. Oh my god, I was running out of games to think about how you could just turn it into a grade school bully. Bobbery, though, has got his health back, apparently from that power of friendship bullshit. Hooray! Uh, now use sweet him. Treat her with Blow him up. Thinking, thinking, thinking. This is gonna miss, isn't it? Oh! -ho! Wow! Not so. I actually can't believe it. All right, Bobbery, finish this off, poison, man. But oh no! Oh no! Damn it! So close. I sh knew I should have used Earth Tremor. Fuck! All right, it's okay. We almost got this. Let's just use Bomb oh, yeah, Blast. This, this is that easy. Should, that should take care of you know a lot of it. God damn! We gotta do. Bobbery. Oh come on! Ah. Now you sweet treat, so I can get healed of poison. Cause we're gonna be here for a little while longer, it seems. Fuck! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, God! Dude. Damn it! Dude. No! No! Dude. <laughs> Dude. Uh. Dude. Dude. Oh, great. And our defense and attack is boosted, too. You know, since we've been talking about grade school bullies, I kind of want to see this, like, this Shadow Queen fight Flats the Flounder. <laughs> I am the Shadow Queen, the ultimate in darkness. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna kick your butt. Speaking of kick Mrs. your butt! <laughs> then Mrs. Puff comes in and sees what has transpired. Goodbye, Shadow Queen. Now for phase two. Nope, that was one just one experience? star. experience? Because we beat the game. Oh, well... I cannot be beaten by friendship. I don't have any friends. Foolish humans and their love! Gah! I. Gah! <laughs> oh wow, just poof, out of existence. Mmm, she gone. So. Is she dead, or are we safe just for another thousand years? Well, I mean, we'll be long gone, so... Oh, well, yeah, right. I guess it's it's the, it's the tomorrow's problem, I suppose. Mm-hmm. That's the next Mario's problem. Paper Mario, uh, six? The Thousand Year Door 2, the game everyone's been clamoring for. We literally just updated the graphics and resold it and called it Thousand Year Door 2 because we knew all of you sheep would buy it. Who do you think they are, EA? <laughs> Bobber, your wheel, beating her over the face. Ah, welcome back to the living, your highness. You know what would have made that boss fight ten times better? Having the cricket sound effect the entire time. Well, I had people coming out. I couldn't, couldn't do that. Well, that's okay. Maybe a big climactic final attack, though. Like, you know, Mario does a huge jump and the telephoto lens goes all around and... Yeah! And then she goes, ah! And then she explodes and then... It's Duplass, get him! Yeah, gah, gah, gah. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses broken, spitting blood and teeth. Oh, Mario, why? Oh, I guess it was the professor after all. Sorry. Just 
Check it out. It's the actual treasure. Oh my god. It's 50 coins. <laughs> and a coupon. Wow. For a grocery store. Huh. It expired last month. Only way we know how, old man. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here! Wait, we don't even open the chest? Who cares? We got the princess back. We got the real treasure back. No, 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 no. We I've got the, the princess, real I've treasure the princess back. back. Like ten other times before this, and she ain't doing nothing for me. The I real want what's in that treasure. Chest. Fine, maybe she'll give me, like, overhand hand job. <laughs> Whatever. Now she wears those silk gloves all the time. I bet her hands are really smooth. Well, goodbye, team members. See you never. Well, we had the power of friendship and all that, but uh, don't mean nothing. I gotta get back to my duties. Sorry I didn't use, like... Half of you. I like, Ms. Mouse, I think you were in, like, one fight. <laughs> well, she she joined too late. <laughs> I know. Well, whose fault is that? The games! Because she was optional! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Coops, well, he, he kept falling over, so he was obviously out. I feel so bad. I was rooting for Coops the entire time. And then, like, as soon as Yoshi came in, he's just like, well, okay, Coop, stay in my pocket forever. And then, of course... <laughs> Flurry was, uh... <laughs> she sucks. I mean, she blows. That's about all she does. I feel so bad, because you know there's got to be, like... The, the developers who came up with these characters are like, man, this seems like it was really going to be fun. I hope everybody uses everybody. No. Well, I mean, we used uh, four of the seven there. We used Goombella mostly for tattling. You know, she held her own. Yoshi was good for a few things. Uh, but I think the MVPs go to Vivian and Bobbery for different reasons. No, definitely. So Vivian and Bobbery top, uh, tie for top place. Yoshi's third. Goombella's fourth. Then... Ms. Mouse, Coops, and Flurry can fight for the bottom ranks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just fight for the scraps of my love. Bobbery, you were the sleeper hit, my friend. That that big blast, though, that's... That's awesome. <laughs> that was a game changer. What, you're saying I can explode harder? Oh, huh, my boy. So Bobbery can explode a whole bunch, right? Right. Then a plot point in Paper Mario the Origami King makes no sense. What, that bob only have one life to live or something like that? One bob explodes and then he dies. Well, I mean, maybe he just got over it. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh my god, it's the Poonies! Hey, look! Non-dried mushrooms! Do you think Mario ever, like, wakes up and says, like, fucking mushrooms again? God. Think he likes mushrooms on his pasta? Mushrooms on pasta is pretty good. Because he used to be, like, you know, a real big pasta guy, you know. Ah, my meatballs and my spaghetti, my Luigi! Oh! <laughs> meatballs? God, why, why doesn't Mario just, like, go full Italian in the next RPG and, you know, you pick up a plate of pasta? Pick up an Italian sausage? I mean, Sonic has his chili dogs, which he canonically likes. Canonically, yes. And yet, he never picks them up as, like, a power-up or whatever. 
I think the only time he ever did that was in Sonic Unleashed. Even then, it was, uh... It was a hub world upgrade. Yeah, it was, o it was optional. You had to go to a store and go, Yeah, I'll take a... I'll take an exotic chili dog, sure. A chili dog from Alaska? Don't mind if I do. It's cold! That's why they call it a chili dog! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate me too. Bye! I wish I could take you all with me. Well, so long, Cast of Paper Mario 2. We'll never see you again in anything ever. And then they play a pop song to lead us into the credits. I actually really like this song. Ahaha! 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 Right. I agree! I mean, even Princess Zelda did some paperwork once in a while. Rogue Port is shining and peaceful. It's been a murder. Get him, boys. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Peaceful at last. And then it plays us out. Every night in my dreams, I see you. I feel you. Ah! So Doppelganger. We're, we're just going to dress like this now, bro? <laughs> you know, this is my shtick. Why don't you dress in red? Oh, yes. And then I'll get all the credit. Oh. Uh. Oh. I love fangled like, nail uh, gadget. I love like the epilogues in RPGs, but uh, when you're doing a let's play and you're looking at the time and just <laughs> Jesus Christ is gonna be a long one. Uh, well. Time to get an email from every single one of our compan- okay. Nope, it's just Scoombella giving us an update on every single one of our companions. <laughs> Damn it! So Goombella is still hanging with the, with the professor. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of stuff about Roadport we don't know, like where did the door come from, but... Seeing as how there was never a sequel or anything like that, I just assume that they never find anything and they just keep... ...getting grant after grant. Oh god. We've gone through the history books, and it turns out that after the thousand-year door sleeps, it becomes the one-year door! Mario, we need you back! Then he comes back and does it, and then, no, oh, no, it's now it's a two-week door! Ah! Mario, we need you back! You know, you close that door, and the evil spirit inside, and then it becomes the three-hour door, and then and it just gets ridiculous. And then finally, we just seal the door away forever. It's done. It's over. Mario, there's a thousand year window now! No! It's a whole thousand year house! In a perfect Quick. world where there'd be sequel after sequel of this game, you know? Quick, get the welding torch. We're sealing that window forever. Oh, he's whipped. Alright, one more fight! Wait, what? For love? Because Flurry is uh, in the theater again. Oh, okay. Hey, wait, this is a boss we didn't get to see! Yeah, I, I think because we avoided the booze so well, because we're so good. Yeah, I, I remember reading a comment about that. If you let the booze, uh, like, take you, you have to fight Big Boo. Well, I didn't do that, because I'm good. <laughs> but I'm it's too, content! I got too much skin! <laughs> it's content, me bucko! Yoshi! <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? He's covered in blood and other people's teeth and bones. I did it! He's adorable! God! God, please! Oh, God! Ah!
Ah! So adorable. Send in the stampede. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Ah! 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 There's so many corpses. I can't feel my legs. Ah! So cute. Oh, thank God these emails don't have sound. <laughs> oh my God! Really? <laughs> V voicemail from Yoshi. So Vivian's back with her stupid sisters. Yay. Woo. G guess who's finally the Cinderella of this story? I know Fiery Jinx now, so I can set them both on fire if they fuck with me. Actually, that would be a pretty good comeuppance. Yeah, Bobbery sailing the high seas with Ghost Man! Cortez, that's it. Yes. <laughs> Yar, you ever get tired of living? <laughs> Cortez has got me covered. <laughs> you ever feel like shuffling up the old mortal coil every so often? What has Cortez been telling you? <laughs> yeah. Ever since we left, Bobbery has just been slowly, uh, just inching towards doom. Wait. That's not Ms. Mouse. That's Ms. Mouse. No, no, she's missing something. She runs the badge shop during the day. But at Wait. night... I, I can't tell what's different about her. There I used to be red. Right? Oh, there we go. I can't tell who she is! Oh my god. You know, I'm actually really glad they brought back a lot of enemy types from, uh, like Yoshi's Island and other Mario games. Bullshit. Grotus got destroyed. He came back. He got better from being killed. He's recycled paper. Well, all right. I also went to the slums, Mario, but unfortunately we can't get back to the moon. You've Tex gotta alive! You've gotta be kidding. No! <laughs> I want to see you again. Never going back to the moon again! Why can't characters stay dead? Because it's an E-rated game for children. People can't stay dead. Except for the no. ones that were already dead, so, yeah. I mean, Goombella, if you want to go above and beyond, we could just, like, interview everyone who was in the audience the entire show. I mean, you sure you don't want to do that? I'll bet you they wanted to keep Tech dead, but then somebody's, you know, six-year-old niece started crying because, Hey, with the computer to come back! And, all right, we'll write her back. Wow, that was long-winded, bro. How many lines of text is that? Till we meet again, your friend Goombella. DELETE! Oh, yeah. Hi. Sup, babe? Shouldn't we bow or something? She's like royalty, but whatever. We've done this enough times that where she just, like, kind of waves that off. Oh, it's no. called the Thousand Year Storm Drain! We need your help! Yeah, Bitch! You haven't learned! No, she hasn't, and the boat's already waiting, and off we go again. No! No! No, look at that face! Oh, 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 do 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 Well, that is the end of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. While we wait for wow. these credits to go, any final thoughts? Uh, well, I can definitely see why people really enjoy this game. I mean, I thought it was just kind of okay. I, I really, 
really hated the backtracking segments. Yeah! Like, th that almost ruined it, because they were doing it for comedic effect, but it wasn't that funny. Nothing worse than Sorry, when a comedy guys. game tries to not be funny, but, uh... I, I still really enjoy this game. It's It's got a, a lot of humor. It's got the uh, the style of everything is just fantastic. It's certainly uh, a cut above all the other Paper Mario games, even to, to even to this day. A lot of variety, a lot, lot, lot of a lot of really impressive things like you know the uh, all the all the bones there and everything. A lot of artistic merit behind this all. Definitely one of the elite games for the GameCube and the shining crown jewel of Paper Mario as a series. I do think it would have been better had I been playing it myself, which, by the way, that joke never came to fruition because it's still too goddamn expensive. Even now? Oh, yeah. It's still like 70, 80 bucks. It went down, then. <laughs> yeah. Or at least for a, a new copy, it's still ungodly expensive, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I can definitely see where a lot of inspiration in other games came from. Like, even though there isn't too much variety like this in future Paper Mario games, that doesn't stop them from being good games. I mean, Sticker Star is still a piece of garbage, but at least Origami King got it right. So it's about 90 bucks on Amazon right now. God. That's so expensive. And, and you know what the sad part is? Since we've started doing this, games have gone up in price. We got a renewed copy for $227. <gasps> God damn! Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. Going on to eBay. Yeah, let me check eBay real quick. 42 Oh, this one's uh, $95 for buy it now. This one's 49 damn in it. a bid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six well. days left. $28. CIB tested and works. How about okay. how about one that's a case and manual only? No game. 50 bucks. Oh, fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off. Yeah, this one's got the manual. See, that's what I want. I want the manual and the game and the like original box art just because, you know, I'm a collector. That's what I do. But it's so freaking expensive. Where was I during the GameCube era? Playing Pikmin like a fool. Pikmin's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was that was also around the time where, you know, I still didn't have any money. Like the only reason I had Mario Sunshine is because of birthday money. I think I so, got that for my birthday too. I, I guess I just didn't know which games to get, and I think the other thing that kind of you know soured Mario RPGs for me is when I tried Super Mario RPG way back in the day, got stuck after leaving Bowser's Castle and then never went back. So, d I don't know, but blame stupid kid me. I blame stupid kid me for a lot of things, too. I am kind of glad it ended with, you know, the power of friendship, because, you know, I wanted to see some originality in this game. <laughs> I'm kidding. Put down your pitchforks and torches. Nesco was lukewarm towards Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door! Get him! Oh no, you know that will actually happen. I'm sure it will. But like, if you're... If Nintendo game gets an 8, the world goes up in flames. If it gets a 7, my god, it's Armageddon. Chill, guys. Nintendo games are great. But the, a lot of them, like, aren't the magnum opuses you claim them to be. This one's alright. So, I've never played Color Splash. Is it any good? Um, it's... It's definitely an improvement over Sticker Star. And people call Origami King an improvement over Color Splash, so... Well, hey, we're getting there, then. Just give it another 15 years, and we'll finally have a Paper Mario that rivals Thousand Year Door. Let's... let's... Um... T we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Hi, Iwata. But until then, we can hold on to this game near and dear to our hearts. Uh, I mean, I can't because it's too damn expensive. So, 
when you start when you start a clear save again, you go back to Rogueport, and that's it. What? All your friends are back, and you know, just like, oh, hey, Mario, what's up? Maybe now we can go do side quests and the Pit of a Hundred Trials and all that shit. But oh, time to do that next. Nope. Time to do that next. Bonus content. Nope. Bonuses. The door is closed now. The book has been shut on Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, and that means. I gotta find a new adventure for us to do. See you next time.